These were the exact questions asked to me in my Capgemini interview. The interview was quite interesting as it got a bit challenging with the time. So let's move on to our first question that what is the use of wire decorator along with the scenario. Now to answer this question I said that wire decorator is basically used to get the data from Salesforce. If you want to pull the data using Apex inside your LWC component that's where you use wire. Now to define a scenario I gave an example of a lightning data table. Now what do I mean by that is let's say I have an account. In the account related we have contact. Now instead of going to the related list the customer has asked to create a lightning data table which will show all the related contact inside this lightning data table. Now to bring the data on load of this component we can use wire. So basically what we will do is we will pass the record ID of the current account to that wire which will pull the data from the apex using the apex it will pull the all related contacts and it will populate it within the data okay of the lightning data table and that's the reason that's the way we can see all the related contacts. So I give this scenario as an example. Let's move on to the next question that wire versus connected callback. What is the difference? So the first difference is wire is a decorator whereas connected callback is a lifecycle hook. Wire as per as the order of execution, wire executes first then connected callback and then again the wire executes. And the third and the final one is nothing but let's say you have a reactive property and on the change of the reactive property if you want to pull the data from Salesforce to show the most recent data inside your LWC component in that cases you can use wire in, in case if you want to just load the data and show it in the screen and it's not going to change further you can use connected callback. Let's move on to the next question that I have an LWC component which is on the home page having field as name, email and phone. Now when I fill up this form and submit it based on the email address it should find such contact already exists and if yes if the contact already exists I should get an error that such contact already exists. If it does not then the contact must be created. So I had to create an LWC component for this scenario. Now instead of going for name, email and phone I'll just go for name and email. Okay, so first of all, there will be an HTML form for it. Let's name this input, name this HTML form as name hyphen one. Okay, and let's keep the type as text. I'm going to copy paste the same thing for the email. And type would be email. Now on click of the button, I, I also need a button, right? So on button, on click to so handle click. Name it as handle click. Let's go to the JS part. Now inside JS part, I will create two variables. One is name, and another one is nothing but the email to capture the name and email. Now on click of the handle click, okay, I need to get all the lightning inputs value, okay. What I'm going to do is, so on, as soon as I click on this handle click button, I should get values of both of this field at a time. To do that, what we can do is we can create where all data equals to this dot template dot query selector all. Okay, and you can provide lightning input inside it. Now, once you do that, you have to loop over the data one by one for each element. Now if element basically what it's going to do is it's going to query all the lightning inputs the email and the text both of these lightning inputs will be got by us using the query selector all. Now by one by one you have to check if element dot name equals to equals to name hyphen one. If it's so in that cases what you need to do is you need to populate sorry you need to populate this dot name sorry this dot name variable that you created inside element dot value okay so what is going to happen is if you are on name one okay automatically the value of the name one will be populated inside this dot name variable similarly for the email what you can do is email one okay if that's so i will populate it within the email variable now once that is done i need to make a call to a apex so i'm going to import one apex over here let's name it as push data Okay, I'm not writing the whole code, but I'm just using the push data and inside apex class I am going to create a method aura enabled method public static 
string push data which will have two parameter one is nothing but name and another one is nothing but the email sorry string email whatever parameter as an email and name we are going to pass first of all let's consider about email okay first what we are going to do is we are going to query all the contact with that particular email Okay. as soon as you have got all the contacts if you found any of this contact this means actually the duplicate contact exist right if size is greater than zero right if the size is greater than zero this means such kind of duplicate contact exist and if it's so we are going to return error okay keep in mind our method function the function that we have created the return type of that function is string so we are returning error over here okay else what we will do is basically we will just create the record okay here what we can do is we can create the contact and then we can just send the success back success message return success okay now this is what the method is doing to do now inside the js also we need to call that apex class so i'm going to call this apex class like i'm going to first of all pass the parameter Okay, the parameter are this dot sorry not this dot name name equals to this dot name comma email equals to this dot email okay sorry dot then result Okay, and we are going to alert the result so i'll just explain in brief what we are trying to do over here okay let's understand it with a brief example what you have what we are trying to do over here okay we are going to have multiple lightning input fields that is name one and email one and click off the button what i'm going to do is i'm going to loop over each of this lightning input i'm going to check whether we are on lightning input name if we are on lightning input name we are assigning the value of that name field inside this name variable and if you are email we are populating inside the email variable now once that is done, I'm calling a push data function, which is an apex class, and I'm passing this dot name and email as a parameter to this function. Okay, let's go to this push data function. Inside this push data function, I'm trying to query the contact with this particular email. As soon as we find that like, if the size is greater than zero, we are throwing an error. We are returning an error. Else, we are going to create the contact and we are going to send back the success message. Okay, and same way we will inside the alert we will get the actual message success or error whatever it might be we will get the error message or success message over here. So this is how we can achieve this scenario. Let's move on to the next question that if there are two LWC component added to the record pages or if there is an LWC component added to the record page and this must be only visible to two user having two completely different profiles how can we do it? Now to answer this question I gave two scenarios one of them is I will use custom metadata inside this custom metadata i will provide the email of the people whom i want to show this lwc component to so if current logged in user email matches the email that has been specified inside the custom metadata in that cases we use template if to show the lwc component on the other hand another scenario that i gave is that whichever user i want to show this lwc component i'll create a checkbox on the user and i'll check the checkbox for that particular user so now if current logged in user checkbox is checked in that cases using template if i'm going to show that lwc component but the other the person who was taking my interview he gave me another way to solve this problem one of the way was custom setting using hierarchical custom setting he gave the solution for this okay so i gave two scenarios say solutions he gave one more solution but that was the more proper one as far as him let's move on to the next question that is what is the use of the wrapper classes in salesforce now if you have a function okay usually function is going to be returning only one thing string list of string or account list of account or something like that okay but if you do not know what kind of return type your function must return in that cases you can use a wrapper using a wrapper you can return different types of the type different types of the return types at one go okay using wrapper so if you want a function to return different types of the record different types of the things like a list of string list of a variable list of account in that cases you use wrapper classes let's move on to the next question that write a query to get the accounts which have the contacts now to do that i wrote a query normal select id from account where id in select id from sorry select id not select account id from contact 
and using this query you will get all the accounts who have the contact okay so let's move on to the last and the final question now before moving to the last and the final question if you feel my videos are helpful and if you need any help with interviews you can click the link below and book yourself a schedule or schedule yourself with me a one-to-one -one interview where i will help you out and ask you questions which are trendy and mostly asked so let's move to the last question there are around twenty thousand duplicate names of the uh, names for example test test 1 test 23 test test so we need to write a small script which is going to delete this all the such duplicate account and only keep the original one for an example let's say you should keep the account with name test but it should delete all the rest of the accounts with name test 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 new or test 1 basically they asked me to write a script it is a script okay one of the most important thing is it is a script not a trigger so we have to delete all the related or all the duplicate contacts how would account sorry how would i do it so for that i first of all created a map of string comma id you can do it different way as well but i'm just defining how did i do it okay string comma id now what i did was they already told me there are only 20000 records so there is no possibility of dml error so i queried almost all the accounts that we have now once i have all the accounts okay what i did was if is if maps dot key set dot contains key sorry contains key acc dot name sorry if it is not contains i said if not contains in that case only populate the map with account dot name comma account dot id okay so what i tried over here is i queried almost all the accounts and after that i checked whether my map already contained this kind of key okay key is nothing but the account name so let's say first in first loop we got test okay so in first loop loop the map won't contain any kind of key named as test so that's why our map will be populated with test okay map would be populated with test comma one two three for an example id is one two three next time if let's say in the next iteration what will happen is test test is going to come okay test test is going to come now inside your map already you have a key with name test right you already have a key with the name test if it is there it's just going to skip and it's not going to populate that particular test test inside this map so it will only have unique values inside your map and not the duplicate values now once that is done basically i will just get all the unique records over here okay once that is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to write a query okay list of account acc list acc's let's say select id from account where name like okay maps dot key set okay so i'm querying all the accounts with having similar names like test 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 one test two test three and along with that i'm querying id not in maps dot values okay so i'm leaving the already not duplicate values or uh, the unique values i'm keeping like uh, in the values i have the unique values ids right and unique values account id and all the duplicate names like test test all, all these things i have stored inside the key set so as soon as i find all the accounts with having no such id that is the not duplicate uh, records id and name with test 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 one test two something i will get all these such kind of accounts and as soon as i get it i'll just delete that account okay so this is what the scenario on this is what the answer that i gave for this interview question if you found this video is helpful i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel